everyone, it's Amanda Salad, and thanks for watching another video. Today we're going to be learning how to create a basic sole for our baby booties. This one starts with a chain of 10. I have a couple patterns with smaller sizes that one starts with 8 and one starts with 12. But we're looking at this one made with Red Heart Baby Hugs Light. This is the sole you'll need if you're making the smaller size of the Sweet Sophisticated Mary Janes. These, or if you're making the basic little baby hugs boot, this is what you'll need for this pattern as well. It's the same sole used in these. It's a great basic sole, and then you could experiment and make your own baby boots or just do one of the patterns from our website. Hi, and for this pattern, this particular one calls for a starting chain of 10. So I've gone ahead and chained 10, and so the next step is to single crochet three in the second chain from the loop. Now I like to work in the back of the loop, so I'm going to turn mine around. You can see the little bumps. There's the first one, and the second one's right here. So I like to work, I always work into the back of the stitch. So three single crochets. One. Two, three. Okay, that's going to be the heel. So a piece right here. We're looking at it like this. It's going to be the little heel part. And now you single crochet three. So I'm going to single crochet into the next three little bumps. So right here. One. I have to use my finger to help get it on there. Two. Three. Okay, now it calls for two half double crochets. So. All right, and now two double crochets. Okay, now you should be down to the very last chain. You see it right here, that little last bump. So the last step says to double crochet seven in the very last chain. So I'm going to do that. And this one usually always I have to like use my fingernail to help push it through the first time. I don't know why, but that one down near the slip knot. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Just trying to get the tail in there. Seven. Okay, so you can see how this makes the front of the shoe. So here's the one that's already done. And just makes it a little taller right there on that part so that you get a little bit more of a shoe shape with the heels not quite as big. Alright, so we have these seven. Now you're going to do the same thing you did on this side on the back of the foundation chain. So that's another reason I like to do it into the back loop because now I can come along and crochet into these normal looking stitches. Often for the first one I have to pull my tail back this way. So now you can see this little stitch here. Okay, and you're going to double crochet too. So this one's always a little tricky, oops, sorry about that, to get into. So I'm trying to look at it and keep the camera going on at the same time. So I always have to work my way into that one. There we go. It's never that easy to, find, to 
crochet into the back of the foundation chain, but the first stitch is always the roughest. And I'm just trying to have trouble here. Okay, so double crochet in. Two, so here comes the next one. And now two half double crochets. And three single crochets and then you do not join these so don't worry about doing a slip stitch or anything at the end just one two three okay now you're ready to do the second round which is two do two single crochet in each of these three right here so it looks like there's a little stitch right there, but it's actually not. So you're gonna go ahead to this first clear stitch. I don't know why I'm having trouble today getting into the stitches. Makes it harder because I'm trying to look at the camera and my work at the same time. So two in here. And then two in the next one. Two again, so you'll have six stitches here instead of three. And then you're going to single crochet eight. So I'll just go ahead and do that. One, two, three. Two single crochet in each of the next five. So you see that'll take you around the curve. One, two, three, four, five. So go ahead and work those in. And two. And Crochet eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now it's kind of Looking a little funny, nice and skinny, but you can tell it kind of looks like the shape of the sole of the shoe. So we're ready for row three. Okay, and for row three, we need to do one single crochet and then two in the next stitch. So we're gonna do, I count this way, usually I just go ahead and count to nine. I'm doing the repeat three times, so it's like one in the first, two in the second stitch. So. I'll count to nine, it's just the way that I work it in my head. So I'll do one, two, three. Because I know every time I do multi multiple of three, I need to be working in the same stitch. Four. So we'll single crochet eight again along the side. Okay, 
doing the same thing we did for the heel. We're going to do it again here. You see, I'll crochet one in the first one, two in the next, one in the first one, two in the next, and that's going to be five times. So you're going to, I'm going to count to 15 on this one. So I'll do, do it in one in the first one, and then two, three, four, five, now the same one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, same, same one for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15. Now single crochet, 8, 9, okay, here's the last one, okay, row 3 is done, just one more row to go. So now we're going to single crochet in the first two and then do two single crochet in the next. So it's a multi multiple of four. One, two, and then three, four. So since I'm doing this three times, I know I'm going to count to 12. So it's just the way that I think about it. One, two. And so right here, I know I'm going to do three and four in the same stitch. And then I'm going to do five. And six, and now I'm going to do seven and eight in the same stitch. Now I'll do nine, ten, and I'm going to do eleven, twelve in the same stitch. Okay, so for this one, there's no repeats or increases up here. So you'll just single crochet all the way around. So I have 12. So this one will go 13, 14, 15, I was kind of long in my head here. This is stitch number 30. We're going for 43. So here's stitch number 40, 41, 42, 43. Now we're ready to make our invisible join. Okay, we're making an invisible join. The first thing we're going to do is to cut our yarn. pull it through. I remember I used to think I had to like fasten off or you loop it, but you don't do that. You just pull it through this. So it looks like this. You can see right there. Now we're going to insert our hook from right to left. So not in the first stitch, but the second stitch away. So you see here's the stitch that I ended on. One, two. All right, put it underneath both of these. Bring the yarn around here and pull it 
it through all the way. And now you want it to come under just one strand of this. So that your hook right here, this is the one that it came from, in here, right to left. And then you're going to pull this through here. So you can see it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than fastening off as far as you don't have any kind of a knot there. And then once you take a yarn needle and weave this in, you only have this little bit, you know, where we kind of pulled that out of shape with our hook going in. So it really makes a nice one. This is how you do it when it's joining single crochets. When you're joining slip stitches, it's a little bit different, and I'll show you that in a little bit later as we keep working these. So the next step in these baby booties is to weave in your ends. So now that I've created this one, I have two pink and two gray. See, this is the underside. So it should look like at the, the underneath, the wrong side. And then this is the right side. So I've got two of each color. So you have to go through and weave in all these ends, everyone's favorite thing, and then we'll come back and join these. So here I have a two soles made and I have the ends woven in. You can see this is the right side. When you flip it over, this is the wrong side. We're going to put the two wrong sides together. Just like that. And you're going to try to line up the stitches as best you can. And put the color you want to be the inside of your shoe. So for me that was the pink here. On top. You're going to insert the hook into the stitch and then line it up right there. Now I'm going to make sure that's even. Okay. Let's join our yarn. And we'll pull it up like this. And now you're going to slip stitch all the way around. Make sure you're going through both. And this is going to make a nice foundation for our body of the shoe. all around you should end up with the same number of stitches that we had on the last round. So depending upon your starting chain, so for this particular pair it ends up being 43 because I chained 10 at the beginning. So you see you're just slip stitching through both stitches. See every time just like that we pull it through Okay, continue this way all the way around to the last. Okay, and now I am round to the last stitch here. I've gone all the way around the shoe. And now you just need to cut your yarn. And make an invisible join with slip stitches. You can pull the yarn all the way through like this. And then take your hook and insert it from right to left under both. My second one's a little tight here. Oh, careful not to split the yarn. There we go. Through both. Yarn over. Pull it through these. And you see how it's kind of starting to complete that last stitch. So it looks like we had a space, but after this we won't. And you just put it through one. And so you want the yarn to come right down through the middle. And there we go. That makes an invisible join. So then we go ahead and weave in these ends. And we'll be ready to start the body. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching and hope you have a great experience with the with baby booties. It's really sparked an obsession in me to create a lot more baby booties. So you'll see more coming up soon on the blog. And if you like this video, subscribe, stay tuned for more. I'm really working on more videos for my channel and hope to see you again.